Hey guys and welcome to a extract guide for interchange. In this guide we're going to be showing you all of the PMC and scav extracts that are based on interchange. So the first one we're going to be doing is hitting up Emacom. We are currently at the back of Ollie right here. This is where all the scavs like to conjugate and you got the roundabout with the six fags, five fags. I can count, wonderful. So with this extract, this is a PMC and a scav extract. This is one of them that is always open, no matter what is going on. Actually, to be honest with you, all of these apart from one are always open on this map. So when you get to this location, all you need to do is run up to where this extract is and then you will start to extract. Something to take note about this extract. These are very heavily camped. So they like to camp inside this bush round the back of that tent right here inside this tent as well i do like to shoot a few bullets into the side of this tent your bullets will go through them when you get to this spot you can either just sit by this uh, tire or nice and cozy you can also extract on this side as well just make sure you stand right next to the tires just so that they can't shoot you from the other side so the next location we're going to be hitting up is hole in the fence this is one of the newer extracts as well. Something to take note continuing on about the Emicom is you can actually get into one second, let me click this stem. You can actually get on top of this railing right here at the top of um, Ollie. Right here. People like to do that. So there's a task that you're gonna end up getting at some point where you gotta get 100 meter headshots. A lot of people who are trying to do that task do actually stand on the top of the and will snipe you while you're extracting because when you're extracting you are standing still so just be careful so we are coming up to the extract point ahead a little tip around the back of this location i would always recommend if you're running along to run along the left side yes they're gonna hear you easier but the thing is if you're running along the right side of the wall over here they can easily shoot you from up top so make sure if you're ever going to go down the back of here to stick to the left side of the wall so you have this little indent right here where you've got some containers just before you get to the fuel truck just behind here on the left hand side tucked right behind these barrels is actually the extract right here something to take note you cannot have a backpack so if you're going to be doing runs make sure you grab yourself a tv rig or a huge rig if you are going to be doing pistol runs on this map just remember that to be on the safe side so the next extract we're going to be hitting up is power station now this is the only pmc only extract that is on interchange and it is also going to cost you it's also an extract that is rng so sometimes it might be up and sometimes it might not be up you can tell if the extract is up is if there's a vehicle there. You can also tell if the extract is up or down is as soon as someone pops there on the map, you can see where it's got question mark, question mark. If someone's already extracted from that location, the writing where it says power station will actually go red. Or if the extract isn't up, it will also go red. So is the vehicle here? No. So if we go close to it, Okay, it doesn't actually show up, but this is the extract right here. There will be a SUV sitting right here if the extract was actually up. So, for the next extract, we're actually going to be doing safe from Xville. Now, for this one, you do actually need the power turned on, and you also need a key, which is this one. The 11SR. Currently, this is extremely expensive on the flea market as day two of the update. But it should hopefully drop down to around about the 500k mark. But you do actually need this key unless someone has already opened up the door. So to turn on the power in interchange, if you come over to the power supply box, press F, the light will go green, you will get humming, and then the power is on. Something just to be careful about is that if their power isn't actually on within the first 10-15 minutes, that means someone's going to be camping at this location, most likely, not 100%. So if you are going to come in, just be careful. You can actually parkour almost around this entire area. So when you come in, be careful. Not a lot of people would think about up here. So if you do come in, maybe just come through here, press F and then peg it back out that doorway. But yeah, nades can do you only so much right here. 
So what we're going to do is now head into the center of the map where the um, escalators are next to Kiba and Mantis, Brutal and German. I will fast forward my route there. Okay, so now we're currently in the center of interchange. You got Brutal, Gibber right here, Mantis over there, and German. You can see that there's a giant hole in the ground just there, and that is the main entrance just down at this location. So, what you want to do is head up these escalators like you're going above Goshen. When you get to the very top of them, you want to turn left and you want to head towards Burger Shot. It is currently in Russian writing, but if you look at the picture on the right side, it is called Burger Shot. When you get into the into this um, room, go to the right hand side, go to where the toilets are. And what you want to do is go into the men's toilets, not the women's. You have a urinal directly in front of you. Press F and you have a keypad that shows underneath. What you want to do is use hashtag 11SR, which is the one that you get from Killer. The light will not go green, but it has worked. I think that's a bug and it should go green possibly at a later stage. So now what you want to do is go back on yourself. You want to go back down the escalators directly in front of us right here. And we want to go hit up the, the, um, the hole in the ground just over here by generic. Because we turn the power on, you will hear the alarms of some stores. So when you go down the hole in the wall, go to your hole in the wall, hole in the floor. Hole in the wall is a great TV show. Anyway, follow it to the left hand side. You come to where you got the bus where you've had to do your task. And then on the left hand side, you can see the door is open. What you want to do is head in here and then press F right here. And this is how you lock the door and you actually extract within two seconds. Something to take note, there is a decent amount of loot inside here as well as a gold chain on top of the microwave. Like high valuable loot spawn in here, high valuable loot here. Um, weapon parts spawn right here and food and drink items do spawn here. Usually it is the Jack Daniels or Dan Jackal in this case spawning right here. And then you got a weapons case and a weapons case right here. So, if you don't know, you can actually unlock Killer's Stash by pressing F on the Object 14. And that will unlock Killer's Stash. I will show that in a different video because that's not an extract video. But, press F right here, the door will close and you will extract within 2 seconds. So, you can see it's happened. And this is also a one-time use. So now, no one can extract from this location. So the final extract, sorry not final, so we're going to be going checking out the next one which is Scav Camp. Now this is the one where you need to have a friendly PMC and Scav extract together. I am always confused why they add these type of ones, just because they're never going to actually work. Um, okay, you do get an awful lot of Scavs and PMCs on this map so you might get lucky in actually extract. I would say it's a higher chance to find someone to extract on this map than it is on reserve. But everyone knows these tents are behind um, on the main high rate. So we are now at the front of Ultra, which is right there. Everyone knows about the tents that's over in this direction. You get a decent amount of scavs. So what we want to do is head over to where that red crane is. Sorry, the crane holding the red container. Because that is next to where the extra point is. You can see that the wall is actually broken down a little bit and this is actually the extract point. Pull it around just around here. And as you can see right here, you need to bring a friendly scab in order to extract. But if you guys do actually extract with each other, you're the scab of the PMC, you can actually get items Fence will send you in the mail. If you actually do extract from that, please join our Discord. I'd love to see what items you get. and. Actually, seeing someone use the extract with a friendly scav or PMC, that would definitely be impressive. 
So the final extract that we're going to be hitting up is the Railway Exfil. So you can see Ultra, the gorgeous large building right here, and we have Idea right in front of us. So what you want to do is head over in the northeastern side of the map. I believe that's northeast, uh, northwest in fact. So that's northwest extract. So Idea, and you want to head over in this direction. When you head out from Idea, you got a go kart track right there. Straight across the road where we are right now, and then if you keep running in this direction, you can see the trains off in the distance. And that is the extra. Like with a lot of these, they are going to be heavily camped, so just be careful whenever you're extracting. To be honest with you, if people usually do extra camp, it means they're not that great at shooting that I found out. Well, from, from what I've seen in my time of being in Tarkov, no shade being thrown. Just, they're not usually the best at actual firefights, so they have to do it this way to actually get loot. So, my biggest tip that I can give you when extracted from this location is actually stand where this graffiti patch is right here. The extract box is actually really big here. It does span out all the way out here. Usually, they like to camp right in this little spot because if this is their extract, they can actually stand over here and not actually get extracted. So, they do like to sit here and just shoot you when when you come around a corner so if you just stand here wait five seconds then you, you will usually be safe obviously you're going to be open to this entire area so you kind of just want to watch that bush right here hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting 8 a.m gmt also, we now have a website that has all of the information on my YouTube channel in one location, which will be in the link in the description, where you can navigate it very easily and find what you're looking for. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.